are we really seeing a shift of narrative when it comes to XRP? Do people truly not see what is being built? And are they going to miss out on a huge potential rally? Well, in my opinion, yes. I'm going to tell you why in this video. Channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a beat in this bull market. Now, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about XRP, some key updates that we've got from the team, more importantly, the price action and why people are calling it the loser coin. The only loser in this scenario is people not holding XRP, in my opinion. So let's take a look at what's going on in the year example. We're up a year at 63%. 61 cents is the current price point. Our volume down the last 24 hours just by about 18%, still 1.8 billion after that big market correction. And actually, we see XRP holding its own. Now, you might be thinking, 2-bit, what's the yearly price action got to do with anything? Well, this for me gives you the sentiment of where XRP is. And I guess why people have this narrative that it is the quote unquote loser coin. The reality is it's been locked in a legal battle with the SEC in which we've had some very big and historic wins. But at the same time, there is still a cloud over us. There are still some issues to work through. We still have those key dates when it does come to the courts, which I'm going to share with you in just a minute. But the reality is, given everything that's going on, it is the only cryptocurrency in the world right now that is going up against the SEC and standing for everything that is important. Decentralization, cryptocurrency, and how it can be beneficial to the globe. And more importantly, the fact that it won't be trodden down simply by the SEC not agreeing with what it's done. Now, for those deep key dates that we do need to just be in mind of, March 22nd is now when the SEC files its opening remedy related brief. April 22nd, we do the opposition from Ripple. And finally, May 6 is the SEC must file its reply brief. After that, we're pretty much heading to the courts and ultimately, therefore, we'll get an outcome as to what this happens. Now, this could trigger, in my opinion, both the bull run and a run on XRP that we are yet to truly see. And we know that there has been a significant amount of building in the background. We know that there has been real links built with key financial industry to ensure that they are the go-to platform, whether that be for CBDCs, whether that be for ultimately just using the ledger to support big financial movements around the globe. We even know Monica Lang, the CEO or the president, has been getting into banking summits, in particular the CNBC Tech Check, and discussed changes since SVB banking crisis last year and how blockchain and crypto can fundamentally improve access to financial services and partnerships with banks and traditional institutions. Now, if you believe that she just rocked up and did this, then I'm sorry to say that's not how these things work. The fact that she's in a banking summit as a cryptocurrency project should tell you a few key fundamentals. Not only do we have big partnerships with Metaco, Uphold, Saudi Arabian banking, as well as Hong Kong real estate and many more, we're now in a banking summit and the president, Monica Long, being there to talk about blockchain and XRP. Who knows what meetings went on in the background after that did happen. Now, more importantly, why are people calling it the loser coin? Well, ultimately, it is this. It's a great article on ZY Crypto, ultimately giving a view from Mr. Huber's pessimistic view that XRP price has a weakness and that ultimately it doesn't have an advantageous buying opportunity. Now, interestingly enough, since XRP is a great digital asset for payments, speed, cost, transactions per second, the fundamentals are incredible for local or overseas payments. This was tweeted by Kieran Kelly, giving his view in comparison to Mr. Huber. Now, I know what some of the tech savvy people will say. Well, the amounts of transactions per second isn't that great on XRPL. Well, you've got to understand what XRPL is being built for. It's not going to be the meme coin narrative. No one's going to launch meme coins and no one's ultimately going to be building community tokens on XRPL. It's much more for industry. It's much more for financial institutions and more importantly, the banking sector. This will be the cryptocurrency of the banks, of finance. XLM, however, that one could be slightly different. If you want to see some videos on XLM, do let me know in the comments down below. But we do know when it comes to XRP, ultimately it's all hinging on this. The SEC versus Ripple and what that could truly look like. A lot of people are waiting on the sideline. Remember, if the SEC win, expect a huge correction in the market and expect the price of XRP to plummet. However, the alternative narrative is that XRP win, as they have done in so much of this journey through this, 
expect a monumental rise and more importantly, an inflow, in my opinion, of financial institutions wanting to get involved. I think right now there is a cork in the bottle behind one side of the banks and the other side is the SEC and that cork is about to get popped and we're going to see a significant, in my opinion, move on XRP. So the more local price, like we said, 61.86 did come down and retest two key fundamentals, the 200 exponential moving average and that 50 day simple moving average and bounced quite aggressively off both. Now we obviously get the spikes that we see with good news and good sentiment when it comes to XRP, knowing how much volume is ready to come into the market. But MACD just flipped bullish and RSI is probably slightly oversold right now. So we could see a push. This could be an opportunity. Yes, I hear all the news about escrow. Yes, I hear they sold another 240 million XRP. That has to stop at some point and the price will outweigh all of that taken into account 1.8 billion dollars in volume is still a good thing. And I think once we see a subsidence of the SEC case, well, get ready. I think we're going to see a monumental rise in XRP, and that's why I'm holding and want to get the opportunity buying some more. Let me know, though, in the comments down below. What do you think? Are you still bullish on XRP? Do you think it's the loser coin, or is this something you are truly holding and excited about what's coming in the future? Let me know, as always, in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, check out some of the links down there as well. If you're wanting to leverage trade, join our free Discord or many, many more. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.